Before I came to COA, I was uh, sleeping on the street. I didn't have access to shelter, and I didn't have access to food. I was thinking, um, how long is it going to really take to get to where I'll have shelter and be able to have a regular uh, meal and be able to sleep like normal people do. So I was in that limbo area where uh, you're, you're a working person, you're sane, you're able to do this, you're able to walk and talk, you, your clothes are clean, you're not mentally ill, you're not this, you're not that, and you're like, well, how come you're not finding work? And it was just the traps of not having an address, not having uh, access to your mail, not having a phone. When I used to go to different places, they would give me a plate, but they would give me a smaller plate because I didn't look like I was homeless. I didn't look like I was hungry. So they could just give you a certain amount. And you're like, really? And I just noticed that it was weird. It was like, so I end up going to a variety of places so I would be able to fill my stomach. But that's a lot of work and a lot of exercise and you're still hungry. So by the time you go to sleep at night, you're like, oh, I'm still kind of hungry. <laughs> so you do it all over the next day. Then you do it over the next day. When I first came, and heard of COA. I, um, I was at the point to where I needed their services for food and I was, uh, I was impressed with the way everything kind of was run when I was here. And I just started coming here for like a couple of weeks. I, I started just by uh, sweeping the floor in the dining room, setting up the uh, dining area with uh, napkins and forks, cups. But then they started asking me to actually chop this up a little bit more, take this out of the oven, do more kitchen duties, more sous chef stuff. I just started as a volunteer and then end up being, uh, doing more than that. And then I think eventually offered me a job and I was like, wow, you know, I was surprised because I hadn't been working for about five years. When you're out of the job market, you kind of get to that point where, oh God, no one wants you at all. You know, what do you do? You know, do you go back to school? Do you do a trade? What do you do? And it's like, you know, they kind of gave me a, a, a avenue to actually just get myself back to a, a presentable person, as they say. A person that can uh, be known as uh, um, the cook. One of the other men asked me if I wanted to be part of the men's program. Because in the men's program, uh, they're there to help you get a step up. And I thought the job was actually a really good thing for me, it was a step up. And so being in the men's program was really a blessing. Uh, I, I was part of the men's program when it was after uh, I'd been uh, volunteering for the two years. At the same time of offering me the uh, uh, job, uh, Dixie asked me if I wanted to go back to school and see if to be a chef. So I started uh, just recently going to Long Beach uh, City College for the two-year program to be um, in the culinary program. So I'm taking all their normal uh, courses for the two-year degree, plus I'll be in their uh, the culinary program, so I might earn the name chef. <laughs> Never know. Once I started coming to COA to volunteer, you know, little by little, things actually shifted, and it was like you know, I was, I was getting a little bit more, uh, more focus on what I needed to do to get myself out of the situation I was in, and I just keep following my sense, I will be able to do it. And COA definitely gave me the push to help me do that, which uh, I'd be eternally grateful. I mean, it, other than that, I would probably still be on the merry-go-round of I can't get work, I can't get work. I'm a work in progress, but at least I'm moving along and doing it in a way that will help show someone else what if he can do it, I can take a step and do it. They're trying to make us more independent so that that way we can actually come back or even help out the next person that comes through here 
so that they can have a life that they want and that they can be proud of.